double covers and $20,000 sales. Let's get into it. Another week, single record breaking sales so hot that I had to hit the mic with the leader of the Gempire, Gem from Gem and Collectibles. How you feeling? What's up, Tom? What's going on, everybody? It feels good to be back here for the honorable mentions. These books had record breaking sales, but not enough to make the hot 10 list. So they're here on the honorable mentions. And we're going to start with one of Tom's favorites, Daredevil issue seven, the first time he dons the red costume. I just really enjoy the changing of costumes Daredevil has had. It's definitely going to be a collection I will form one day. And this right here is a beautiful comic because it features Submariner and Daredevil fighting on the cover. Just another reason to own this book. And it could have reached this list because of speculation towards events that may happen in the MCU. We know we've got Namor. We know we got Daredevil. We might see this battle. A CGC 2.5 sold for $203 back in June. It's up 23%, now selling for $250. Butch demands that you download Key Collector Comics, the best comic app in existence. This cat just distracts me so much. He missed me from all the convention scenes that I've had to travel to. But if you use Kotam 101, you get access to the app. Um, we source 10 comics from a large list. There's over 40 different record breakers that the community has to see. Support the show and better your comic hunt at the list at number nine. Giant Size Superstars number one. Now, admittingly, I wasn't familiar with this book, but look, another scene that may play out in the MCU. What did I just say? Classic Thing vs. Hulk battle. Interestingly enough, the title would change to Giant Size Fantastic Four with issue number two. We have a 9.4 that sold back in April for $280, up 43% this week, now selling for 400. That's an increase of 120 bones. The Hot 10 this past week, we saw a similar key book, Fantastic Four 112, a 9.4 that sold for $3,360, and that was an increase of 12% since its prior high that was set seven days prior. Which will bring us to number eight on the list. We have Spectacular Spider-Man issue 99. Now, this is the second appearance and the first cover appearance of The Spot, which, yeah, he's going to be in, into the Spider-Verse. Not a huge character, but a cover that you just got to love. We know the spot is going to be the villain of the first movie, but it's going to be a two-parter. I'm curious who the other villain is going to be. Speculate in the comment section below because that could be the big book for this movie franchise. However, it's important to note that this right here is like a new classic cover to me because I've known about it for a long time and I valued it for years. And it is only until recently that members have shared that interest for this book because of its vibrance, because it's the second appearance, sure, but most importantly, it's the first cover appearance of an undervalued character that really got his rise with one of the best Spider-Man animated episodes that debuted in the 90s. Now that was the original Into the Spider-Verse for me. A CGC 9.8 sold for $386 just last week. It's up 40%, now selling for $541, which is gonna bring us on to number seven on the list. And that's right, some more subby love. Fantastic Four annual one with that Namor cover. 1963, the origin of the Fantastic Four, but most importantly, this throne subby classic book. Namor finds Atlantis, and we see Namor for the first time in full, seemingly. And a lot of people are not as excited as I thought they'd be. How do you feel, Jem? Even though I know you have a bias because you own an FF4. Definitely bias on my part. I want to see him in the movie. But what I really liked was that Atuma reveal, and I love the character design. I think it's going to look great. Considering the change in design being related to more of an Aztec heritage versus Atlantean, a lot of members aren't as thrilled about Subby coming to the screen, and I don't care. We're going to get some manner on the screen. I mean, they definitely stuck close to the comic book origins. The costume is pretty much the same with just additional kind of armor. I totally get collectors don't like it when you change origins or change anything about their characters. I think that they didn't want to get confused with Aquaman, him being from Atlantis as well. So that could be why they went in a different direction. Well, we have similar to Dr. Doom, who has his first appearance in issue five of Fantastic Four, an incredibly expensive comic book that members have long given up being able to secure on the affordable side. Well, they've all navigated towards Marvel Superheroes Presents Dr. Doom issue number 20. It's a classic cover. But it's far from the first appearance. Well, similar to that, we have Submariner 
on this classic cover of Fantastic Four Annual Number One. My bet is that this book is kind of taking that place, similar to that Doctor Doom key. Yeah, it's just another case of the next best thing, which there are many since this is a Golden Age character. A 5.5 sold for $675 back in August. It's up 33%, now selling for 901. And now at number six, Avengers 111, debuting in 1973. Black Widow joining the Avengers. Yet another seemingly minor key, something that would not go on the wall at a comic book show that has ascended, just like so many of these other minor keys. A 9.8 hit 750 in 2020, up 60%, clearing past the $1,000 marker for the first time in comic history, hitting 1,200 hot damn. First of all, the cover is amazing. John Romita Sr. And yeah, I mean, just Black Widow joining the Avengers, but it's a 9.8, man. Somebody picked up a nice copy. That's going to bring us to number five on the list. We have Marvel Premiere, issue 55 from 1980. We joked about this on the Hot 10, Gem. You were gone for two weeks, and a lot of the market sustained... Yeah, there were some repeat offenders, some books that bounced back last video. But really, the big thing you missed was Wonder Man. He's back and he's the best thing since Wonder Bread. A CGC 9.8 sold. It last sold for $200 back in 2021. It's up 250%, now selling for $700. But what happened with Wonder Man while I was gone? $500 increase. You know it's because Wonder Man is slated for Disney Plus, one of the strongest heroes in the Marvel Universe at the list at number four. Batman 42 debuting in 1947. We asked the community a couple videos ago if they wanted to see a like fun Batman key filled video because there's so many in the early digits with all of his gadgets, his weapons, his transportation. And here we go. We got another one to talk about. Batman 42, 1947, a golden age book, Catwoman's first cover appearance in the Batman title. Nice to see some early Catwoman keys. It's a tough one as she shares her first appearance with the Joker in Batman issue one. 3.0, going for $800 in 2020, seems criminally underpriced. These are some major golden age collectibles that I think people just don't know as well as others. We have modern books that are selling for near this amount that are way more common than a scarce valuable like this. We have a 65% increase since that 2020 set price selling for $1,320. Yeah, that's a big increase. It broke $1,000. I still think that's undervalued. What do you think? Yeah, considering the age and scarcity of this book, I mean, these are classic comics. It does seem a little undervalued considering what some modern books go for. At the list of number three, Archie Comics number 50, debuting in 1951. This is a classic cover by Bob Montana, a 3.0 back in 2018. This is a pretty scarce book. It went for 1150. It's up 98% selling for 2,280, an increase of over $1,000. And that's still notable. Like even if it is a few years ago since the last one sold publicly, that is a strong increase in a short amount of time. And it's all because of this hilarious cover from the golden age. We've got Betty on the phone saying, No, Archie, this isn't Veronica. You called the wrong number. But if you come over to my house, I'll gladly refund your nickel. <laughs> Betty shooting her shot. Hit the like button for that one, comic fam. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel and comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video so far. An entry to win this Omni-Man issue number one on Invincible number one and at the list of number two, Thor 134, debuting in 1962. Whoa, we got a double cover to talk about. A double cover of the first appearance of the High Evolutionary Key Collector released from a trusted source that this character would play a major role in Guardians Volume 3. Not the main villain, but still a major role. That key alert was sent out back in 2021, and this past year, sources confirmed that actor Chukwudi Awuji, you know him from Peacemaker, is going to portray the character. Well, we have a double cover, last selling. In 2014, this thing is so scarce, there's got to only be a handful of them. $230 is what it went for, up 769%, selling for $2,000. That's right, 2K for a double cover 8.5. I took a look at what standard 8.5s go for. Last one sold in June for $1,360. The height was $1,500. That's a $500 extra cover. Hot damn. That's a great example to show someone who asks, how much more does a double cover go for? If you guys enjoy what we do, join the July Mystery Mail call, comicdom101.com. We're sending out one per box in our comic book subscription service, a cover art done by legendary Marvel artist Gary Frank on Daredevil number one, a classic Electra. It's classy 
and give me an excuse to send you some comics. At the list, at number one, a monster sale. Detective Comics, issue number 38. Debuting in 1940, the first appearance in Origin of Robin. So awesome to see so much DC love on the list today. Now, there are rumors that Robin will be portrayed by Dylan O'Brien in the new Batgirl movie. We have a CGC 1.5, which sold for $18,075 back in 2021, up 53%, now selling for $27,600. An increase of nearly 10K, hot damn. Comic fam, we appreciate your time today as always. Geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Join myself, Gem Mint, and so many of my homies on the best new app to buy and sell collectibles, funny books, vintage clothing, Pokemon cards, whatnot. Available for both Androids and iPhones. Dollar start auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long. Vetted sellers, you know, the peeps know how to ship on this application. And you can join the fun giveaways, exclusives, random comic drops, and so much more. Link in the description. And we have two other videos for you to check out. We made them for you. Have a great week.